In this video, I'm, I'm going to demonstrate a very basic uh, utility analysis for a residential client. So this is uh, a page out of an electric bill. Um, this is actually uh, missing a page or two here, but the important stuff is here for the electricity. So if you want to determine the electricity use for the month, so you can see the bill date here is July 29th to August 27th. And you can see there's you know some kilowatt hours here, some kilowatt hours here, here's some kilowatts, so that's a power draw, more kilowatt hours. So instead of uh, so, sort of pouring through all of these numbers, your best bet is just to go up here, and this gives you your summary for the month. So you have a meter number, so this is the unit, kilowatt hours, uh, end date, start date, it even tells you the number of days. And then this is your total use, so based on this unit, it's 787 kilowatt hours for that month. And since this is end of July through all, you know, almost the end of August, you would consider this August's bill. So August's energy use in this case was 787 kilowatt hours. Now for the total cost, you have to be a little bit careful because sometimes if you look at the total amount due, um, if they have some back bills that are due, then it'll be included in there, so it could look a more, little more expensive. The new electric charges, this will do it for you here. So your new electric charges are 108 dollars and two cents which you can see is also down here so that's your total um, cost for the month if you want to get the cost per kilowatt hour you just divide the total cost by the total usage and you'll get dollars per kilowatt hour okay so that's electricity let's look at the gas portion of this bill so this is the same residence uh, it's the same bill so it's electric and gas bill so it's the same time period here's your chart for monthly electricity this should look familiar so this gives you two years worth of electric bills um, the scale uh, again is a, can be a little hard to interpret but and this is your daily use so now with the gas charges <coughs> uh, very similar setup here we have a meter type the current reading the previous reading so basically this is six CCFs for that month now your total charges here be careful because this bill got cut off you can see we're only page three out of four so your new gas charges for this month are nineteen dollars and twenty six cents so again, if you want to figure out your cost per CCF, you just divide your total cost that month by your CCF. Okay. Now, for this um, exercise, you know, for mo most of the time when you do a residential utility analysis, you're going to want a year's worth of bills. In this case, it so happens that you do have a year's worth of bills. So what you're going to do is go through each month, look for the total electricity use, the total gas use, the total electricity cost, and the total gas cost. And in order to determine the average cost per kilowatt hour and the average cost per CCF for this residence, I want you to total up the annual use and the annual cost of each. So you're going to have 12 months worth of electricity, and you figure out how much electricity that is, and you figure out how much it all costs combined, and that's going to be your average cost per kilowatt hour. And then you do the same for your CCFs. Um, in terms of determining a home heating index, if you are doing that, remember that you're just including the seasonal energy use, so it's going to be the heating load for that building. So make sure you're careful about which energy use you're including in your seasonal load. You calculate your base load, and then from that you calculate your seasonal load. And from there you go to your HHI. So hopefully um, that helps, and that is it for this utility analysis.